The depth charge or helmet wreck was sunk along with 68 other Japanese merchants in the Desecrete Air Raid of 1944. We approach the wreck on the left or port side and head forward. Coming up on a small air vent on the left, the ladder goes up to the mid-engine area, air vents to the steam engine and boiler rooms, a couple of Japanese World War II beer bottles, my partner swims in front of a lifeboat davit and looks down through missing teak decking to storage areas below. There's lots of marine growth growing on the deck support beams. Up towards the wheelhouse, that's missing the flying bridge that used to be on top. We follow our guide under the flying bridge side extension support post. On the right is a door into the wheelhouse. This roof was the support beams for the flying bridge floor. This flying bridge was made of wood and either burned or rotted off. This is the front of the wheelhouse to a coal hatch. And over to a cargo winch. From the winch to the foremast, broken off at the cross tree. Another cargo winch. And then cargo hold number one that has spider aircraft rotary engines inside. Debris on the deck and up to the forecastle. These brass Japanese lanterns in the forecastle were all stolen off the wreck. Up and over the forecastle pair of cable spools and the two-headed anchor windlass. Forward to the bow, the port side, and then over to the starboard. Lots of spiral black coral and sponges growing on the hull. And into hold number one. Here's a fighter aircraft rotary engine. Now another one. And beer bottles on top of fallen electrical panels. This is a Japanese beer bottle. My dive buddy examines a ceramic sake jug. Past the cargo winch. And into hole number two, packed full of depth charges. The rest of the gang swims in. These depth charges are still full of high explosives, but not armed with their detonators. This is one of many small brown bottles, probably medical. Up along the port side, past mounds of depth charge detonators. These steel rings were for some unknown Japanese war effort. Over more ceramic sake jugs, past stacks of depth charges along the starboard. Up to a fallen searchlight with a smear still intact from the missing flying bridge above. We move on, an air vent. and up to the wheelhouse. This is the round base of a machine gun mount. Further down the starboard side, and we go below deck to the engine room. The below deck passageway looking forward, and into the steam engine room. The three chamber steam engine with the valves on top, More machinery to the rear. 
There's a lot of pipes and cables in this room. We're leaving through the port side door, the port passageway, a ladder, and a room with a broken socket jug on the floor. Back up to the deck area. Down the port side and into hole number three. That's really packed full of depth charges. Swimming over to the right side of the ship and over depth charges rearranged by a U.S. Navy aircraft bomb just behind this hold. It's a miracle that this ship didn't go up like a small nuclear device. I stick my head out and look down the stern. These starboard hull plates are all blown away, revealing the ribs. Notice that these depth charges are piled within four or five feet of the top of the hold. Now along the port side. And there are round objects ahead. These are stacks of Japanese army helmets. This stack is oozing a red liquid. Forward and over more helmets. Now I'm back outside and midships and holding what's left of a soldier's boot. From the stern to hold number three. Cargo winch. Massive bomb damage done to the aft poop deck. The Navy bomb hit the rear right side of this Maru. Now a swim through the blast hole and mounted on the railing is a depth charge release box designed to drop charges onto U.S. submarines. It still has a depth charge inside of it. Now I'm backing up and going over to the port side of the ship. Past another depth charge release box, still with a depth charge in it, and a flagpole lying over the stern. This is the stern gun, a juvenile black chromis living in the barrel. This gun has been blown off its mount and lies on its side on the platform. Up the barrel towards my dive partner who has something. He has an old gas mask. Now I've got a rifle and shoot my buddy in the head. A broken rifle barrel and its stock on a box of grenades. A box of gas mask. The stern gun aims eternally at nothing, but it was meant to be pointed at American sailors. A view of the stern and along to the fatal bomb blast and its terrible damage to the starboard side. Moving forward past blown out hull plates. I let some air out of my BC and sink over the stern. The rudder comes into view and a couple of inches of propeller just in front of it. Back up and over the port side to the stern gun. My last view of the helmet wreck. And the buoy line up to the rest who are decompressing. Better join them. What a great dive.